Okay, so we had a nice little surprise at our supercharger stop here in Brush, Colorado. Oh, so got a brush with destiny. <laughs> a brush with destiny, baby. <laughs> so I'm on a family uh, road trip here with we got a six year old, three year old. We got grandma, we got mom, we got dad. We're nuts. Five people in a uh, cross country road trip model three. Anyway, the cool stuff. And the baby in the tummy. <laughs> and the baby in the tummy. So the cool stuff is uh, the Tesla Semi pulled up and uh, let me uh, rattle off as much as I can tell you um, about it. Uh, so the it was accompanied by a, a couple trucks uh, full of engineers and they're getting the charging equipment uh, set up. They asked me not to um, uh, video that because it's uh, prototype equipment that nobody's gonna use. They're using it just for this prototype phase where they don't have the mega chargers um, set up. They, only, they have to rely on the supercharger network to get set up. And uh, a place like, like this, uh, they had uh, eight stalls is, um, you know, not, not the full amount of power they would want to, um, to for recharges. However, the specs on this truck is one of a couple, one of the, the, the two uh, hand-built ones that you saw at the reveal. Uh, this was the silver one that Elon jumped out of at the reveal. And they have, uh, it's a 300 mile range on this truck. Um, it's what's called a day cab configuration. So there's no sleeper. And he showed me where they will um, uh, alter the cab, uh, move, move, move the cab back basically to make room for a sleeper cabin. Um, and uh, they said, interestingly enough, the trucking uh, industry is kind of moving to these uh, shorter runs where truck drivers want to be uh, at home for dinner at night. So uh, they're moving it where if they, rather than doing these big cross country uh, hauls, they kind of do a, like a piggyback haul. Like, like the, the truck drives, you know, so far, drops their load off, the cab comes back, and etc. That that sort of thing, rather than you know embarking upon um, you know a, a long trek away from family. So that's kind of a move that's happening in the trucking industry that Tesla is uh, taking advantage of. Um, so he said that this uh, truck, 300 miles, charges uh, basically at the rate that you saw. Um, it can recharge in about a half an hour um, uh, when it has enough enough power to draw from. Um, uh, since they asked me not to talk too much about the charging, I can just tell you that uh, they asked me to switch supercharger stalls. I was in one of the stalls, one of the eight that they had. Um, I can tell you that they were not using all of the stalls, but you know, in order to make room, um, you know, I had to be off on one end, and they were, uh, had the superchargers plugged into um, the truck on a via, basically. Um, the, uh, this truck, he, I think he said it had uh, 26 cameras. I might be wrong on that. Um, and they said they, that this particular truck has more cameras on it than will be in the final release because um, they're uh, experimenting with uh, camera placement. But he showed me, um, one of the engineers showed me uh, under the, the uh, rear view mirror, um, you have uh, a couple cameras um, pointing out uh, in two different directions from the side and then one pointing down. Uh, from that same camera to ca get kind of a below view. Uh, and then there's also cameras uh, behind the cab um, and then the same array that we have on our Model 3, the, the three in front. Uh, they also have a dash cam, running dash cam footage. Um, the inside of the truck looked very nice. <laughs> um, the uh, driver was very comfortable. All these guys are drivers. Um, they're all qualified to drive the semi. Uh, they're actually working on developing it. Um, the uh, motor, uh, which I did not photograph, there's other photographs online, so I'll see if I can pull one of those up for you, um, is the uh, exact same um, motor that's in the Model 3, actually pulled off the same line. So it's using the drive unit, he showed me the drive unit, uh, and the inverter are from the Model 3, and then that goes into a custom uh, gearbox for the Tesla Semi. And then that hooks onto a flange that, that uh, hooks up to the truck. Uh, and then there's four motors on this uh, prototype um, for each of the four rear uh, wheels. So each wheel has its own motor uh, in back and they can do torque vectoring. Um, uh, one, of the wheels, one of the wheels can take over in case a motor goes down, which is, you know, very rare, rarely happens. But anyway, you have all this uh, kind of redundancy there. Uh, another thing that I found kind of interesting in as regards to autopilot, um, the goals of the autopilot program as regards to the Tesla Semi are different than um, what is what it is for the drivers, for you and me with our uh, passenger cars. Um, and the Tesla Semi, it's very much a driver assist system. It's not really the same idea that we have as far as full self-driving, that sort of thing. 
Um, reason being, with a semi, the driver is an integral part of the operation. You have to have somebody at the beginning of the run and the end of the run. You actually need a driver. You can't necessarily uh, have a fully autonomous uh, like robot truck because you need the driver um, at the beginning of the ride and at the end of the ride to uh, handle certain things. It does have a frunk. Uh, the frunk is um, that front nose section. Uh, it goes about as deep as what you see the opening as um, and then opens up pretty decently uh, sized frunk. Um, they also have, um, I, I was able to see the, the cooling that they were doing um, just because we were at this particular stop uh, and we're in a, I love you too, Scarlett. Uh, I can tell you, man, this truck is real. Uh, it is, it is very real. Um, and it is running, you know, 300 miles on a charge. Uh, it is, you know, it was in Chicago the other day. Uh, we're heading back to Chicago. Um, it, it's the same truck that you've been seeing. So, uh, any, I don't know, anyone who wants to say that the truck isn't real or it's not going to happen or it's not possible, uh, they are misinformed. The truck is very real. The truck is definitely happening. Um, they have a, a lot of really cool guys working to make it happen. Um, I was respectful of them. They were things they asked me not to shoot. Um, you know, the, the, specifically the charging hookup. Uh, and the only reason they asked me not to shoot that, the reason why you're not gonna find pictures of that online uh, is because it's not the final thing. They don't want people to walk away with the concept that, oh, well, that's not gonna work in the real world because blah, 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 blah. Of course, that's not gonna work in the real world because that's not the final production. Uh, the final production is gonna be using the mega charger stations as opposed to what they have here. Uh, Hobbs and Jobs setting a, a supercharger station to um, to suffice for that. So um, you know it does pull a lot of power. I mean, I, I asked what the kilowatt hours on the on the pack were, and they're not really they're not they're not talking about that uh, in the same way that they don't talk about what the kilowatt hours of the Model Three pack is. Um, just because most people don't understand what that means, they don't they don't get it. So there's no reason for them to really uh, talk about it. To you know make have people make misinformed wrong kind of computations um, but uh, yeah it does have uh, lane keeping um, automatic emergency braking uh, traffic work cruise control all that sort of thing uh, to help in terms of safety side collision you know you name it um, anyway it's very exciting very exciting to be uh, a part of this and um, yeah looking we forward love to Tesla. <laughs> we, <laughs> we love Tesla <laughs> <laughs> and my daughters too. All right. See you, everybody. Bye. Thanks for checking out my video. Subscribe to my channel so you can have access to my upcoming supercharger reviews. If you're ready to buy your Tesla, use my referral code, which will get you free supercharging. It's ts.la slash Eric 48912. That's Eric with the K.